Renewable energy sources now account for 4% of power generation in the UK. It's an area the UK government is keen to see developed further. Experts in the wave and tidal energy industry gathered on the UK's Isle of Wight to discuss how to harness the sea power to create energy. Ocean energy is going to be hugely important. Um, it's not only a colossal source of energy, the UK happens to sit on, on the richest amount of marine energy in Europe. We have the industries developing here, the innovation is happening here. We're starting to get money focused on the area. So it's not only a source of energy, but it's a source of income, long-term economic development as far as the UK is concerned. Renewable energy leaders want the UK to look at the example of Denmark, where they've invested heavily in developing wind power. That is now paying dividends and earning the country vast amounts of money. Renewable energy, people forget that it gives us long-term secure supply of electricity. And when you talk about fuel poverty and you talk about low cost, make the investment now. Go for that inexhaustible supply and you, it'll be just like hydro. But that is the cheapest form of generation we have in this country now because of far-sighted investment made in the 50s and 60s in Scotland. One company working in this field is Palamis. They've been generating power from waves and tides in the Orkney Islands in Scotland for three years. The giant tubes taken out to sea convert waves into energy to create electricity back on shore. At present, there are negative economic returns on such systems. But with greater investment and economies of scale, there could be massive returns in the future. We believe that uh, wave energy has one of the lowest opening costs of pretty much any preceding energy technology, which is quite a radical claim. But um, we, we, we see costs at the moment that are quite a bit below the current costs of solar photovoltaic, which, as we know, is already a big market, and quite a bit below where wind power started. If you take wind power as an example, the costs of producing electricity from wind turbines has fallen by about 80% over the last 20, 25 years. We see there's similar potential here in wave energy, except we're actually starting from a, a lower starting point. Wave power is seen as being the right vehicle to bring in much needed revenue if the UK invests now in the technology to make the conversion from wave to energy economically viable. The UK leads the world at the moment in marine energy and if the UK government is prepared to actually invest money in that then they could have a huge export of potential in five to ten years time uh, which is generating income for the country. British companies are at the forefront of developing wave and tidal energy technology. With the UK coastline providing the right conditions to harness such energy sources, industry experts believe with long-term vision, investment and recognition, in the future marine power could be a major money spinner for the UK.